it's heartening to see such a big conference being held in one of the trust areas which Telangana government is keen to you know, uh, get, you know, get into greater heights. And I was just inquiring about the participants about the, uh, in this conference and I was told everybody in this conference hall almost is an entrepreneur. So who else can give us insights? And uh, I'm also told that this association is more than, uh, you know, five decades or 50 years old. I think the mere organizing of this conference and participation in this conference will let us know the path that till now you have traveled and the way ahead and what all the government is supposed to deliver. So I was also telling Mr. Anil Reddy that the, what is the outcome of this conference? He said, sir, it's more like 25 technical session. It's a lot of input and insights for our members. I also take this opportunity to suggest at the end of this conference if also if a paper can be submitted to government saying that what are the concerns or what are the opportunities and if the conference outcome also can say this is where the government's intervention is required. This is, you no, know, the ch scenario keeps changing. Like somebody in the initial note was saying that crude oil prices are falling. Maybe it's, it can be looked at both ways, opportunity as well as, you know, threat. How does the industry look at it? What do you foresee? Maybe at the government level, we also need these inputs. Real practitioners, entrepreneurs who have struggled, who have successfully you know, reached their level, I think your input will be of vital importance to us. So, any honorable minister is here. Sir will be talking to you about the policies or you know, the way we look at it from Telangana's point of view. But, I am more keen on getting to know what actually gets discussed in this conference and what translatable or actionable points are being submitted to government for further action. Thank you.